Hi, it's Don. Today's post is titled, This Just In. Researchers in Germany have announced findings that have shown that moderate wine consumption can lower the risk of developing dementia. Interestingly, their subjects came from the United Kingdom from a database in that country, sounding like they had the data well before the findings were announced as they collect a vast array of medical and personal information. In amassing this information, about 350,000 participants in this study, ages 38 to 73, showed possible improvements in memory and attributed that improvement to wine and tea. Sorry, coffee drinkers, no substantive benefit for you. Climb me on my soapbox once again. I'm constantly amazed that researchers can glean together all this information and can ascribe results from a group of folks that are on an honor system of reporting their lifestyle and that the group as a whole had a bias towards a healthier regime. Their words, not mine. Studies may be an attempt at getting to why or how things happen, but the numerous amounts of unknown data and what might be results culminating due to other conditions from those participants make these barely statistically relevant. The data showed that those moderate wine drinkers have a 19% less likelihood of contracting dementia. Herein lies another statistical problem. The 19% is only among those participants who identified as moderate drinkers. They don't give that number. With 4,270 having dementia amongst the 350,000. Too often researchers will use either percentages or actual numbers to try and heighten the effects of their research, using which number looks best for their purposes. Using the numbers we do have, we know that only 1.2% of the participants contracted dementia, with an unknown number subsequently benefiting from wine drinking, but likely a small number across the entire participant list. Since dementia is generally considered an issue for older adults, the CDC reports that there are roughly 5 million Americans over 65 suffering. That's about 1.5% of the entire U.S. population. So to me, the German results look to be in line with the American population without any adjustments for alcohol. Go figure. I, for one, would love to know I can ward off dementia as well as a host of other maladies through my moderate wine drinking and as part of my healthy lifestyle. Now, someone please tell me where I left my glass of wine I just poured. Oh well. Hey, cheers.